They asked, do you always accept returns? What's up y'all, it's Jeffrey back here at Flippin' Profit, and guess what? We got some orders to pull. We will start with the shoes first, of course. No clothing items going out today. We got three pairs of shoes and three electronics. Here's the first pair of shoes going out. These are some Sacconi, I think's how you say it. Sacconi? Not sure how you say it, but yeah, nice uh, athletic running shoes for women, black and pink. Women's size 8. These were in really good condition. Picked these up at the thrift store for $3. They didn't even need much cleaning up. I mean, I really think I just had to dust these off a little bit and uh, got some pictures, put them on eBay, and originally had them listed for around $32, but ended up taking a best offer of $27 with free shipping. So I got the Saucony shoes put in this box. It weighed one pound and eight ounces and it's gonna ship priority mail for $8.50. So yeah, made some pretty good profit on them. Next ones are gonna be these bogs. These are women's waterproof ankle boots. I think the, uh, the style is called Maddie Posey. Got a nice little floral print on them. Um, yeah, the brand is bogs. They make nice uh, non-slip, non-marking waterproof boots these are not only meant to be like rain boots but they're also good like working boots where you're uh, required to have any like waterproof shoes and stuff like that but yeah pick these up at the thrift store for three dollars as well and got them sold full asking price thirty four dollars and seventy seven cents with free shipping so yeah really nice find really good profit i got these bogs packaged up they weigh two pounds and six ounces and it's going to ship priority mail for eight dollars and thirty three cents and the next pair of shoes I think this is them yeah these are some born shoes for men brown leather lace-up shoes nice dress shoes size 10 and a half pick these up same thing three bucks at thrift store really good condition didn't take much to uh, get them cleaned up and take some pictures had them listed on ebay for around 28 bucks but took a best offer of 24 dollars with free shipping so another really good shoe sale. Uh, shoes are doing pretty good. Definitely these three pairs uh, making a pretty good profit on these. Here's the Born shoes thrown in a box. These weigh two pounds and seven ounces and it's going to ship priority mail for $9.25. I think the next few items we need to pull are in here. Yeah, I see one of them right here. This is an original Canon. CA100 um, battery charger. It's for a, a Canon camcorder, the battery that you pull off the camcorder, you put it in here and charge it up. I did have the camcorder too, it was donated to me with a bunch of uh, old vintage electronics, but the camcorder didn't work, but what did work was the battery charger, so I looked up comps and saw that they were selling for around 14, 15 bucks. Took some pictures, listed it for 13, 77 with free shipping, and somebody came and bought it for full price. I don't think, I think it does weigh a little more than a pound, so I'll just throw some bubble wrap around it and it'll fit perfectly in a flat rate envelope. So the Canon battery charger actually weighed right at one pound. So once I put bubble wrap on it and put it in this poly mailer, it's about 15.6 ounces. So we're going to ship it first class for $5.12. The other stuff I sold is actually in this tub. We sold the headphones. If you guys remember, I just recently picked these up at a yard sale, or a church sale to be exact. I got these headphones as well as the transmitter that goes with them, um, but it didn't have the power cord, and I saw that I could actually sell these separately, and we'll probably do better like that. So I had these listed for around 30 bucks, kept getting a few lowball offers, and somebody sent me an offer for 25 so I went ahead and took it. I know that's a little less than what I was expecting for, but I got it turned over quick, like within a week, so can't complain about that. And that is with free shipping. I will uh, bubble wrap these things up good, put them in a nice box that'll fit it well, and we'll ship it priority mail. These Sony headphones, I got these boxed up, and they only weighed one pound and three ounces. But to ship these priority mail, it's going to be $9.69. And the other thing out of that tub was the Wi-Fi router. Yeah, this Xfinity dual band Wi-Fi. Picked this up at a church sale for $5 as well this past weekend. There were plenty of them just like it, selling for around 70 bucks on eBay. Um, I did see one that was in great condition just like this one that sold for 90 So I priced mine at 90 but really knew that I probably wasn't going to get that much. And a couple people were sending offers and stuff, but 
bunch of them were around the $45, $50 range. Somebody did send an offer for $60 bucks and I went ahead and took it. So that's $5 into $60 with free shipping. Made a pretty good flip on that. And same thing, I'm going to bubble wrap this up, find a box to fit it, and uh, shouldn't cost too much. I ended up having a perfect box to fit this Wi-Fi router, and it weighs 3 pounds and 6 ounces, so it's going to ship priority mail for $8.80. What, GG? What you doing in here, bruh? Yeah? Oh, okay. You keep sneaking in. It's like the second video appearance you've made. What are you doing? Hmm? You thirsty or something? You always come bug me when you want inside or something. This is our relationship. You like cry and you want my attention and then you just look away. I see how it is, bro. So I got some more questions in the comment sections from recent videos I want to address really quick. This question comes from Christian. They asked, do you always use free shipping? And how can I put that circle that says free shipping on the photo? And what they're referring to is on a what sells video, I was showing off items that I had sold and the screenshots I took on my photos, it actually has a little circle that says free shipping. eBay does that themselves. That way, if someone clicks on your item, they go ahead and add that in the picture sometimes. The photos are the first thing buyers are going to look at. So eBay's trying to let them know no, hey this item is free shipping some people might only look at the price and not see that the shipping is free so then putting that in the photo definitely helps out a lot but once again I don't really have any control over that and yes I do normally do free shipping um, the only times I might not do free shipping is when I'm doing auctions I might start an auction at 99 cents and then do plus shipping and then the other time is if an item is really heavy and I'm just trying to make sure I cover all my costs and stuff like that so hope that answers your question this next question comes from Carmen Lewis. They ask, do you always accept returns? Uh, typically, yes, I do always accept returns, 30-day returns, the buyer pays shipping, but the buyer can always claim that it was damaged or is not as described, and then they will get a refund at a return without having to pay that shipping. And the only time I don't do returns is if I have any electronics that I'm trying to sell for parts only. So I'll list that item as parts only and not offer a return because the people that are buying that should know what to expect. You know you're buying it for parts so the only reason they would want to return it is if they just change their mind and that's not the type of business I want if any of y'all ever have any eBay questions or any questions in general leave them down in the comments and I might put them in a video y'all hit that like button if you enjoyed this video today also don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell and if you're new to my channel and you want more tips on how to sell on eBay then check out some of my playlists got certain playlists on like what sells on eBay shipping on eBay so definitely go check those out thanks to each and every one of you for watching my videos and until I see y'all next time Keep flipping.